Hi, I'm Jacob. I'm a software engineer at Meta. And today I want to show you how to create a chat GPT for your own data. Um, so if you go to my blog, jj09.net, you can find a blog post about building the chat GPT for your own data. And uh, here everything uh, is going from like the basics, like how all of that works. Uh, I'm talking about embeddings, vector databases, and so on. Um, I'm also uh, listing like the prerequisites you need to do. So you need to install a few packages. You need to install LangChain, OpenAI, ChromaDB, uh, Git Python, BS4, and Tik Token. You also need an OpenAI API key. And if you create a new account, you're going to get a $5 for free to use. And then you need to put this API key in the OpenAI API key environmental variable. So this is pretty much everything you need to, to get started. I already have done this, so I'm not going to go through this again. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to build an app that allows you to query your own documents. So um, let me open my console. Here I'm just going to go say make directory equals Q and A. I'm going to open uh, VS Code. And here I'm going to create a new new file. I'll call it app.py because we are using Python here. So I'm going to start uh, with importing the packages. So first, I need to, from LangChain, I need to import the text loader. So this will allow me to load the text. And then from this text, I'm going to create a vector vectorized index. Uh, so for that, I need to go to langchain.indexes, uh, import vector store index creator. So first, I need to uh, load my data. So I'll say loader equals text loader. And here I need to provide a path to my file. So uh, let's say I'll just say data.txt. I'm going to create here a data.txt file. And I'm just going to say uh, Jacob is a software engineer. Um, keep it simple. And here I'm going to create an index. I'm going to say vector index creator from loaders. And actually, I'm going to just use this one loader I created above. And now, what is happening here is that I'm creating a vectorized representation of my data here in the txt file. So I'm uh, taking a text and creating a vectors from this text. And then large language models can use this vectorized representation as a context. And based on that is kind of like an additional knowledge of the large language model. And then large language model can answer my questions that are related to that particular data. And this also uh, kind of solves the solution of uh, prompt limits because you can provide this data as an input to LLM. But uh, then usually there are token limits. Uh, the biggest language models has uh, four or 8,000 tokens limit, which is usually like around 8,000 words. But if you want to use bigger document, uh, you cannot do it, but you can do this with the vectorized representation like here. So now I have this representation and then I can just say index query and I can ask questions like I would ask chat GPT. So here I'll just say, who is Jacob? And I'll print this to console. I'll go back to console and I'll just say Python app y. And boom, Jacob is a software engineer. So now let me uh, grab like a little bit more sophisticated data file. So I have uh, on my desktop this about.md file. I'm going to copy it over to my app. And this is how it looks like. So it says Jacob uh, Jedrushek is a software engineer at Meta. He has experience in web and mobile development, product growth, cloud computing, and artificial intelligence. Then it lists all the products that I worked on during my career. 
and also list my hobbies. Okay, so instead of uh, feeding this data.txt file, I'm gonna use this about.md file here in my app. So here I'm gonna just say about.md, save this. And now I'm gonna leave the same question, like who is Jacob based on this uh, much more detailed data. So I'll just go here. Boom. And whoa, look at that. So much more precise answer. Jacob is a software engineer at Meta with experience in web and mobile development, product growth, cloud computing, and artificial intelligence. He's worked on several products, including Azure Portal, Azure Mobile App, Azure Search, Sing AI, Facebook Marketplace, Super, and Gen AI at Meta. So all of these products that were uh, mentioned there, and also it lists my hobbies. But uh, what is even more powerful is I can ask questions about this uh, particular data here. So I want to just get, uh, for example, uh, information about when did I work on seeing AI. So I'll just say, uh, when did Jacob work on seeing AI? And I can rerun the program. And boom, 2017. 2019. Okay, so this is super super useful, and uh, imagine like all different apps you can create with this. Uh, and this is only five lines of code, right? You can do much more. You can import different types of documents. You can summarize your documents and then make them searchable, and then do the summary of summary and so on. Um, so this is text. Uh, based uh, document. Uh, there is a bunch of other uh, data sources you could use. Like for example, uh, you can use web-based loader. And in web-based loader, uh, let's say, it provides just a URL that you gonna you want to ask questions about. So for example, uh, my blog, I recently uh, wrote a post about uh, weight loss. Right, so it's it's pretty long post, and this is like, oh, that's what we need to do in order to lose weight because, uh, you know, last uh, year or earlier this year, actually, I uh, went for, uh, from two over two hundred pounds to around one eighty, and uh, I explained how I did it. But if you don't have time to read all of that, you can just grab this URL, you can put it here in your app, and here I can ask, uh, for example, uh how to lose weight without without exercising this is not what i did but this is one potential questions uh, in my head so now let me rerun my app so now this is building the vector index based on data on that url and boom losing weight without exercising is possible but it's not recommended counting calories and macros are creating and creating a 500 calories deficit per day can result in losing one pound per week. However, exercise has many health benefits and can help increase your daily calorie budget, allowing you to accommodate things you like that are not necessarily healthy. And you know, it sounds like general uh, advice, but this is actually what I said in the blog post, right? And I think I said that increase your daily calorie budget. I think I said something like that. Yeah, boom, there you go. Right? So LLM took all that data and wrote this nice answer for me based on that URL. So uh, you can, again, load data from different uh, data sources, URLs, text, PDFs, uh, databases, so on and so forth. So if you uh, find this useful, uh, please like this video. And I would love if you subscribe to my channel. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to show how you can create ChatGPT for your data without open AI APIs. So this will enable you to actually build a solution for free.